assists, taking advantage of that Arkansas double team. Feels like the Tar Heels have taken a page out of what Villanova did in the second half yesterday, isolating one side of the floor, allowing Ingram to create, and in a couple of chances, he's found an open teammate, and Seth Trimble's found the bottom of the basket twice from distance. 77-66, Carolina leads by 11, 339 left to play in the second half from Learfield. The Tar Heel Sports Network's play-by-play -play coverage of the Battle for Atlantis is presented by Reed's Jewelers, your home for fine Swiss timepieces, beautiful diamonds, and the world's most luxurious jewelry brands. Reed's Jewelers, trusted with life's moments. Visit your local Reed's Jewelers or reeds.com. Carolina arrived to Nassau on Sunday. Here we are on Friday with three minutes and 39 seconds left to play in the third place game. The Tar Heels lead the Razorbacks 77 66. And Elliott Cadeau is at the free throw line for two. It's been a tough stop for Cadeau so far in today's game. He missed two free throws earlier in the first half. He's got five points in the game. He and Trimble, the two Tar Heels, with four personal fouls as he calmly switches the first to make it 78 66. Second free throw by Cadeau makes it 79-66. And there's some cushion finally between the heels and hogs. 3.35 to play in the second half. Arkansas basketball. Mark defended by Ingram. Bounces to Lawson outside the arc. And a foul called away from the ball against Elliott Cadeau. And that's his fifth. And he'll foul out for the second time this week. <laughs> Hubert Davis turns to his bench and says, what was he doing? That's not the first time Tariels have said that after committing a foul. Cadeau, seven points, three assists in the start today. So Cadeau, the first Tar Heel to be disqualified today. It puts Locker at the line, and he misfires on the first. It's still 79-66 Carolina with 3.26 to go. Arkansas needs to capitalize with the clock stopped and it needs to get some stops on defense. Second free throw is good. Blocker with 11. And the Heels lead cut back down to 12. Davis, Wojcik, Baycott, Ingram, and Trimble on the floor for the Tar Heels. Arkansas. Trapping in the half court, but Trimble comes free, receives the pass to Baycott. Wojcik dribbling inside the arc, floating from the baseline, off the rim, ball loose on the floor, claimed by Lawson, and the Hogs have it front court. Left side, Davenport got his feet set, lets a three go, and he scores. Carolina wanted travel. to travel there, Adam. 79-70, Arkansas within nine, under three to go. Here comes the double team, Davis. Gets it to Baycott. Don't go away from what got you the lead. Left side Ingram. The Tar Heels again isolate the Stanford transfer who feeds Davis near the midcourt strike. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Trimble hassled by Mark and a foul call with five seconds on the shot clock. That is not what Arkansas wanted, but the Tar Heels will gladly take another trip to the free throw line. Not great discipline by the Arkansas defenses. I think they were about to have Trimble double teamed and pinned up against the sideline with nowhere to go. And instead they commit the foul and he's going to the free throw line. Foul called on Mark, his third. Two free throws the rest of the way for both teams. With 2.32 to go, Carolina leads 79-70. Trimble one of two at the line today. And he can't connect on the first. Still a nine-point lead for the Tar Heels. Trimble can make this. He's got a new career high. Bends the knees. And drains it. 80 to 70, Carolina up 10 with inside two and a half to go. Arkansas ball, Mark, rise and fire three from the right side. Off the heel of the rim, a running rebound by Trimble. And the Tar Heels dish it off to Davis in the backcourt. Wojcik front court. He drove, but Lawson cut him off. 
Carolina content to run some clock approaching the two minute mark of the second half leading by 10. Davis drives between three Razorbacks. Clobbered on his way to the 10. And the senior from New York back to the line for two. Heady play by Paxson Wojcik knowing the time and score. He might have had a lane to the basket, but Carolina doesn't need baskets right this minute. They need to run some time with a 10-point lead and eventually able to end up at the free throw line. Foul called on Lawson. That's his third. And Davis with opportunities at the stripe, sitting on uh, team high 26 points. He's 8 of 8 from the line. And he has played a hard 33 minutes today. Nobody on the lane right now for Carolina. Everybody getting some instructions from the coaching staff on the sideline. Davis knocks home the first to give the Tar Heels an 11-point lead at 81-70. I think those are some defensive instructions. Mark got a better look than I think you would like on that last trip for Arkansas. Davis takes a good look at the rim, bends the knees, and drains point number 28, 82-70. Carolina up 12 with two minutes to go on the clock. Arkansas with the ball on offense. Blocker couldn't blow past Davis, so he passes into the near corner. Mark cut off by Ingram. The Hogs reverse it around to the right side and throw it into their own bench. That's another turnover, the 12th of the ball game for Arkansas, and Carolina is closing in on what will be a significant win early on in the season. Still 140 and counting to go. Carolina 82, Arkansas 70. Davis bouncing it just inside the midcourt stripe in the Imperial Arena. Pass to Wojcik, open three, left side, count it! Wojcik, he raises those hands, and Carolina's got its biggest lead at 85-70. That may be the clincher. Davenport a three, right corner, no. Lawson, rebound, stick back, foul, and one. Not exactly the way the Hogs drew it up, but Adam, a chance to get through with the clock stop. It's not a bad recipe if you're down in this game, as the Hogs are 85-72. Just don't foul. But, of course, you're happy that Carolina got three on the other end. Happy for Paxson Wojcik. He hasn't been as impactful as he'd like to be in this game so far. But here in the final two and a half minutes or so, he's made a couple really good plays. One pulling the ball back out. They're knocking down the three on a day when his dad, Doug Wojcik, who's on the coaching staff at Michigan State, the Spartans played in California yesterday, makes the trip to be here in Nassau, sees his son knock down a big three. The foul was on Wojcik, his third, and there's a down Arkansas player under the Razorbacks goal, which has everything stopped here with 1-12 to go in the game. Carolina leads by 13, 85-72. Carolina has hung 50 points on the Razorbacks in this half. And it's Mark who's down as we were shielded from what happened, but he is flat on his back under that basket where Arkansas is shooting. Mentally, the challenge for the players now is to finish the game. 1-12 to play. Carolina leads 85-72. And Lawson at the free throw line for one. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Adam, did that basket go just a moment ago? It did, and they first signaled two free throws. Now we've cut it down to one. Free throw by Lawson. Rims out, no good. And Wojcik hustles into the corner. Loose ball. Davenport was close. Final stay with Arkansas. Armando Bakehouse is going to be glad to leave the Bahamas. He's got three rebounds today. That should have been number four, and Arkansas just wrestled it away from him. 108 to play. Carolina still leads by 13. Looked like there was a push off by Ellis. No call as Trimble gets back up to defend. 
Pass to Davenport outside the arc with one minute to play. Davenport fires up a three over Ingram. Playing's off the iron. Rebound to Baycott. And the Tar Heels are 50 seconds away from what would be an enormous win far from home. 85-72. Davis bounces the ball between the rings. Carolina fans can feel this one. 10 on the shot clock. Ingram backs away from setting his screen. Davis drives, pulls up from 10, floats, and scores the capper to give him 30 in the game. 87-52. Carolina 25 seconds away from the win. Lost and heaves up a three. Brick, Ingram with the rebound, and the Tar Heels have it with 20 seconds left on the clock. Trimble hops over the timeline, picks up his dribble, and cradles the ball as a couple of hogs flank him. A slow pass over to Davis. As time winds down, Carolina claims third place in the battle for Atlantis. Final score, Tar Heels 87, Razorbacks 72. Big win and a must-win situation against a good team. Carolina showed some heart in that win. Two players go for 30 in today's game. R.J. Davis for the Tar Heels and even 30. And then Mark, who was just wheeled off with 112 to go, finishes with 34. Certainly our hopes and best thoughts 